The first thing you see, when you open Easy Digital Album, is the Albums form. So, let's see together all the functions of this form. As you can see, there are two buttons on this form. Dot the New Album and the Open Album button. I you want to open an existing album, you click on the Open Album button. Or if you want to create a new album from scratch, you click on the New Album button. So let's go overhead to do both. I'll create a new album, by clicking on the New Album button. The name of the album, its type and size are required, for you to create an album. Let's give it a name. Say John and Mary. The next step is to choose the type. From the album type you select the kind of album. As you can see here, there are many types and not just for digital albums, but for DVD covers, invitations and more. I'll select the horizontal square for this tutorial. And for the size, I'll choose the 60 by 30 centimeters. As you can see the sizes here are all in centimeters. If you prefer inches, just come here, at the units menu and select inches. You see, all the sizes are now in inches. But since we are located in Europe, we are more familiar with the centimeters, so let's change it back to centimeters. Okay, just a note. I have selected a specific type and a size, but these are not compulsory. EDA uses a smart album management system, so you can change the album ratio and its size anytime you want. Without affecting your layouts. Doesn't this sound great? For the safe area the values here, are predefined for you. So if you don't know how to proceed leave it as is. The same is for the cut area. 0, 4 cm, is the default value. Just check with your album binding company, if you want to change this value. Ok, I'll click on the proceed button to save the album. And here you see the path that your project will be saved. I'll click on the save button and save the album. Now let's click on the open album button, to see the options you have in here. In the center of this form, is your albums list. I have created just one album, so I only have one row in my list. If I select this album, you see that all the buttons on the right side of the form, are being activated. On the bottom side I can see my project's path and the open album button becomes active. You could click on it and open the album, or you could double click on it, in the list, to do the same thing. Now, on the left side of the form, there are some information about my album. How many images I have imported and how many have been used, and how many pages I have created and how many have been exported. Since I haven't done anything on it yet, all the values are zero. Now, let's see what you can do with the buttons on the right side. If you hover on any of the buttons, you have a tooltip with an explanation of its function. With the first button, you can delete the selected album. The second button, is a very useful and powerful button. It allows you to change the aspect ratio of an album, by simply typing the new size you want. Click start and in a few seconds, all the pages you have created will be converted to the new aspect ratio, without affecting the layouts. With the third button you can change the album properties, like the album name and the values on the safe area and cut area. The next button, the duplicate album button, allows you to make a duplicate of the album but also change its size. For example, you can create a smaller size album, like a 40 by 20 centimeters, for the maid of honor, or your best man, with the same layout and just change a few images, instead of creating a new album from scratch. The last two buttons allows you to export the selected project and import it on another computer. Since you get two licenses, when you purchase EDA, you can have it installed on your computer tower and on a laptop. And simply, continue working from one computer to the other. Well, this concludes our tutorial. Please make sure to watch all the tutorials, to become familiar with all the features that EDA offers you.